the zone in today's video i'm going to show you how to build a modern lake house architecture in microsoft fabric using draw.io from scratch this architecture is designed to integrate and visualize data from multiple sources using powerful tools available in fabric let's get started let's begin with our data sources let me get some uh, canvas ready i'll get some rectangles uh, on the left would be my data sources the middle portion will be for all the etl work and the right hand side boxes box would be for my reporting so uh, we have three apis uh, three data sources let me drag the api a sql database and some files so uh, in any any in your uh, data engineer project you might have different types of sources and uh, to remind you this is just a batch processing we are not doing a real-time thing for real time the architecture would look very different so this is all our data sources on the left hand side let me format it a bit uh, it looks nice now all the sources will feed into our data pipeline which is part of the microsoft fabric platform so this section uh, will have all the ETL uh, resources. So we will be using Lakehouse as our uh, data store uh, in Fabric. Uh, as you know, all of this sits within your one lake. So all the data that you actually create will be sitting in your one lake. Uh, we'll be creating multiple lake houses uh, for each layer of your medallion architecture. So one will be for bronze, one will be for silver, and one will be for your gold layer. Now let's get started. We start with the bronze layer where raw data is ingested without much processing. So it is mostly just the raw data and uh, whether it's uh, API or SQL database or, or file, you will just drop the data uh, as is. So if, it's, uh, if you want to just have a SQL uh, table ingested, you can just have a delta table in your bronze and ingest it directly. So you can do that. From here, when you want to process the data to uh, this, uh, from bronze to silver, you will use notebooks. You can obviously use other uh, tools available, but for our case, we'll be using notebook. Uh, so for example, if you are good with Python or you are you're good with, good with uh, Scala, you will just be, you know, or, or you can just use uh, PySpark and write the code to do the transformation from bronze to silver. Uh, if you want to do more data uh, any data checks uh, uh, schema validation all those things can be done here so from bronze to silver we uh, use will be using notebooks and this is how uh, this is uh, just you know creating the diagram for it so it looks good from here uh, from silver to gold again we'll be using notebooks so this is how it will look and we'll need a sql endpoint and a semantic layer or semantic uh, or the data set that we used to call in power bi on the right hand uh, side we will have our power bi report and the dashboard or you know even if uh, if it's just a sql uh, ssms or anything you can connect to your sql endpoint and start you know uh, exploring the data so this is on a high level uh, it looks all good uh, i think uh, like right now we can you know just uh, make it more uh, polished uh, can we can add more uh, items that would be related to your architecture so uh, at the bottom uh, we will be adding certain uh, items that or 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 certain resources that cover the entire fabric or or covers the entire fabric platform so for example the enter id which is basically used to log in to into fabric uh, so that's there i will also need a bit of monitoring from the fa fabric monitoring hub which will cover uh, you know the entire fabric workspace or the entire platform and then i'll create a rectangle and push everything inside that and mark it as fabric so all of this is happening inside the fabric workspace let me quickly uh, rename everything again and so as you can see it is shaping up well we have all the uh, icons from fabric uh, stencil so we have made sure that all of them look 
uh, you know symmetrical and this the shape and the size is the same and at the bottom we have a bit of governance uh, from monitoring and our entra so that's our governance bit covered on the right hand we already have our reporting covered so this looks good uh, as is but if i want to animate it i would just click all my connectors or the lines or these arrows and just make it uh, in an animated uh, diagram uh, you can add more items into it but i would stop here As for any diagram, you would like to have some metadata about uh, the architect. So you can have something like this at the bottom with your name, uh, uh, your organization and the date. So this is uh, exactly how we you know, wanted to create. Uh, this is what we had the vision and we have created the diagram accordingly so on the left is the data sources uh, in the middle uh, you have all the etl uh, work for the batch processing and at the uh, right hand side is the consumption which can be a report or just a data analyst with ssms sitting and uh, querying the sql endpoint to explore the data so that's all for today i hope you found this video useful uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.